Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a very large book haul. I actually don't know how long it's been since my last book haul, but um, I've acquired quite a few books. <laughs> some of them were gifts, some of them were sent to me, some I got on trips. So let me dive right on into these books. First I'm going to mention the ones that aren't historicals because I have quite a few historicals and I know that that's not some people's Thing, and I totally get that. So we'll leave the historicals to the later half of the video. Um, so first I have Everything For You by Chloe Lee. This is book number five in the Bergman Brothers series. And this was very, very, very kindly sent to me by Caitlin over at The Love Librarian. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I love you. You are the sweetest ever. Um, this one is so good. It's one of my favorites in the Bergman Brothers series. Honestly, every book is so good in that series. I think I've given every book five stars if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this one's about Gavin and Oliver. And I'm just so happy to have this one in my collection. Thank you so much, Caitlin. I know I said I'll talk about historicals at the later half of the video, but this one is an AMS market paperback. I'm specifically kind of talking about mass market paperbacks towards the end um but this one is a historical and it was sent by Nikki thank you so much Nikki from Nikki and Buckland I'm linking everyone that I'm talking about down below um anyway she got me a lady for a duke by Alexis Hall off of my wish list which she did not have to do whatsoever so thank you so much Nikki um this is a highly anticipated book for me to read I'm very excited this is a um best friends to lovers romance i'm pretty sure historical everyone has been talking about this book everyone loves this book so i'm very excited to dive into this thank you so much nikki i was also sent birthday girl by penelope douglas off of my wish list from one of my channel members thank you so much verna i am so 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 excited to have this one on my shelves i love this one it's one of my favorites it was so sweet to get this in the mail from her this is a very forbidden age gap romance that like almost everyone loves. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for sending this one my way. I am so excited to have it on my shelf. So I actually am a rep for Hello Lovely Box. So I received their Mafia Trope of the Month book, which was The Hitman by Christina Jackson. You can use my code AVA15. It's down below as well as the link to Hello Lovely Box to get a discount on your order. So thank you so much Hello Lovely Box for sending this my way. It's also signed by the author, which is so fun. But this is a mafia romance I haven't heard a lot about before, but I love this cover. It is just stunning. Then a member of Vi Keelan's team um, reached out to me to send me one of her books. So this is her new release, The Boss Project. I know almost nothing about this. I assume that it's a workplace romance based off of the title, but I have read a few Vi Keelan books that I actually really enjoyed. So hopefully I love this one too. And it also came with this pen which is really cool. So yeah, Valentine PR. I love them so much. They were so sweet. And they sent me two books. They ended up sending me one of my most anticipated releases of 2022, which is A Curse of Blood and Stone by K.A. Tucker. They actually sent me book one last year when it came out. So they've been providing this series for me. And I am so grateful. Um, this is book two in K.A. Tucker's fantasy romance series. I know nothing about this one, but it is a continuation of book one. And I can't wait to read it later on this year. And then they also sent me this book called Try by by Ella Frank. Now this is actually like an older release. Um, so I was like, what is this? Like, I've never heard of this before. It came out in 2013. And I believe there's like more books in the series too. I know nothing about it. Um, but I have heard some good things about Ella Frank. So hopefully I can get to this one very soon. Okay, so I do want to mention two historicals really fast. Um, but they were sent by the author. So it's going to be in this little section of the video. So uh, Lucy Morris was so sweet. And she sent me the two books that she has written that I don't own yet. I own her first book. Um, but I didn't own these two other ones. So she's sent them to me she's so sweet um so she writes viking romances that i just love so i've already read this one this is a nun for the viking warrior i loved this and then she also sent me her third book which is the viking she would have married which is actually the book i'm currently reading right now and i'm really liking it so uh thank you so much lucy morris for sending these to me if you have not read a lucy morris yet you need to she writes amazing viking romances um she also sent me a nice little um postcard with a sweet note on the back as well as two fun bookmarks these are uh the first two books she's written and then this is oops, this is the latest one 
very, very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much. And then the last book sent to me from an author is so stinking cute. This is called Almost Maybe by Katie L. Tyler. Sorry for the ring light glare, um, but look how cute this cover is. The author, Katie, she reached out to me on Instagram and really wanted to send me her book. And the premise just sounded so interesting. So I immediately said yes. And she sent some goodies along with it, which is so cool. She has like an Etsy store and she like showed me she showed me and sent me stuff from her Etsy store. So this is signed, by the way. It says, Ava, I hope you find your quiet by Katie L. Tyler. I love this. This cover is just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, look in the back. They're like feeding each other food or something. That's so cute. So there's a bunch of goodies that came along with this, okay? So I really wanted to show them off. I think she makes, um, I have to go look her up on Etsy and like favorite her shop or something, but I believe she makes stickers and bookmarks, which is really cool. First, she sent me this very sweet thank you letter. I believe her shop is Chasing Bookmarks on Etsy. There it is, if you wanna check it out but I want to show you the things that she sent me sent me like the goodies and stuff so the three bookmarks she has is this one look it's the night court it's so cool look at all of them all the inner circle love that and then there's this Sarah G Mass quote on here too so beautiful and this one says honeydew breakfast of champions I believe this is a um, from Blood and Ash reference, I'm pretty sure. All I know is that I think Honeydew is in that book or something. So I have to read that one. So this is really cute though. And then the other two bookmarks in here are from her actual book, um, Almost Maybe. So this one has a quote on it. It says, you deserve the stars and the moon. You deserve every single dream you could possibly unravel and then some. Very fall. This gives me a lot of fall vibes. So maybe I'll read this one in the fall. Um, and that's very soon. So, and this is another one from her book. Um, it says, without words, he expresses to me that my insecurities are only insecurities if I allow them to be. Very cute. I love it. And then there's also this uh, little postcard thing that came in here too, which was really sweet with a note on the back too. And then a bunch of stickers that are really cute too. I believe some of these are related to like the book. Um, so um, these four were inside the book and then these were other goodies. So um, these were inside the book. This one's really pretty. The little rainbow with the flowers. This is a cute little design. And then I believe this is a quote from the book, possibly. It says, she's an old soul with young eyes, a vintage heart, and a beautiful mind. Ask the clouds to remember. Or is that from Ask the Clouds to Remember? I don't know. That looks cute to me. Um, and then I think this one is from Almost Maybe. The title's on here. It says, do you want to play tennis? Yeah, I'd love to, actually. So maybe I'll get the reference when I read the book. And then these were other things in here. The pearl, the red pearl Macedonia. I don't know what that is, but it's a sticker here. This is a cute little, a cute little sticker. This might be a, a poppy thing from From Blood and Ash, I think. So I do have to read that book, I know. And this last one is my favorite one. I love it. This is like a historical romance cover, like changed to the Pride and Prejudice cover. And it says Jane Austen on the bottom. This is my favorite one. For sure. I love it. Thank you so much, Katie, for sending me all of these goodies. I love them and I can't wait to read your book. It looks so cute and very fall-esque. So hopefully, hopefully I love it. I really want to love it. <laughs> Speaking of goodies and bookmarks, I do want to mention a few things that were sent my way. So um, Debbie Cromack is an author that has sent me uh, a few of her books and um, she was promoting her newer release that happened, I believe like a month ago. Um, and so she sent me a bookmark from it and a sticker. This is from her recent release, Kiss Away Your Pain, um, with this sticker on here, as well as a bookmark. Thank you so much, Debbie, for sending these to me. Please go check her out if you haven't yet. Her books just look very entertaining to me. Then I got something from my lovely friend, Spirit. I'll link her channel down below. She actually is a booktuber as well. Um, She has an Etsy store for bookmarks also. I'm actually a rep for her. You can use my code on her Etsy shop. That's always linked down below in the description for a discount on your order. But um, she sends me a bookmark every now and then. So this one is the one that I picked that looks so beautiful. It's from A Court of Silver Flames. Um, and it is a Nesta one. It says she is made of silver flames. I think it's so pretty. Thank you so much, Spirit. Be sure to check out her Etsy store if you haven't yet. All the rest of these books that I'm gonna mention are ones that I purchased myself. So 
um, yeah, let's get started. So I bought three books for a signing I'm going to in September because I didn't own the books yet. So, and I want to get them signed. Um, so I need to buy the rest of the series, but I'm limiting myself for now. Um, I first bought Brutal Prince by Sophie Lark and Broken Vow by Sophie Lark. Um, two of the books in her Brutal Birthright series. I'm meeting her in September, so I thought I'd get two of the books in the series. I'm gonna be sure to get the other ones before the signing, but yeah, I just needed to, I just felt like buying two of them like a couple weeks ago, so I did. And then I recently read Praise by Sarah Kate, and she's going to be at that signing as well. So I definitely had to pick up this book. So hopefully I'll get it signed there. Um, but yeah, this is an age gap um, ex's dad romance. That was so good that I read a couple weeks ago. And then I ended up going to this like market day thing, um, like the next town over from us. And it kind of like has like some pop-up booths of like market things. And then there was a booth for an author, a romance author, and I was like, this is perfect. This is amazing. This is kismet, you know? So I had to pick up one of her books and she said this one was pretty dark. It's her darkest book. So I'm like, give me. Yes, I love dark stuff. And so this is Oil and Chocolate by Nikki K. Um, all I know is that he is a mechanic and she is a baker. And yeah, that's all I know. But she's on Kindle Unlimited also. And she signed the book very graciously. So I'm so excited to dive into this. I've never heard of this author, but this cover is just stunning. And I just I had to pick it up. I went to a small bookstore a couple weeks ago and one of the books that I found was literally like $6 and I was so excited. We have it from Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata for $6, $6. It's probably because it's like a little bent here, but I do not care. $6 give me, yes. So this is actually a book on my five-star prediction list for 2022 um, and I've never read a Mariana Zapata, but this is a figure skating romance and that's like all I know about it and everyone loves this book. So hopefully I do too. Okay, so the last one I wanna mention before we get into the historicals is a book that I purchased in Atlanta when I went on my Atlanta trip with some of my bookish friends. And so I purchased Real by Kennedy Ryan with many of my friends at the bookstore, I think it's called The Eagle Eye in Atlanta. Um, and Kennedy Ryan goes in there and signs a few books cause she used to uh, live there. Um, and so it is signed, which is so exciting. So yeah, I had so much fun with my friends and I think it's really cool that we almost all of us like got this book at that store. We like almost cleared out the entire store. I think there was one copy left. So um, I'm very excited for this. I've been putting it off because I know it's going to be an emotional roller coaster for me, but I do need to read this before the year is up. Okay, so now we're going to be getting into the historicals. I've mentioned already a few of these. Let me first talk about the historicals that I haven't mentioned in a video already. You know, I went on a trip recently with my mom and we ended up going to this antique store and I've been to this antique store before and I knew that they had historicals, so I bought them. And they were a dollar each, so I have, well first, I have all of these from that store and I only spent four dollars on all of these. Are you joking? <laughs> so the reason is because I bought four books myself, so a dollar a book. Um, and as I was checking out, the owner of the store was like, oh my gosh, I have to give you these other ones. I just have to give you them. So I was like, okay, yes, I'll take them. So yeah, she didn't, she didn't ask for payment or whatever. She was like, here, there you go, take them. It's like, okay. So the ones that I did purchase um, were ones that I really saw with like, yes. So this is a Johanna Lindsay I do not own yet. This is Heart of a Warrior with a step back here. Love it, can't wait to add it to my collection. And then I ended up finding three Katherine Anderson books with the step backs in them. So first one obviously I snagged is Annie Song. I've never read Annie Song, but I know that a lot of my friends love it. And the step back is there. They're all two page step backs. And then I found these two other ones by her that I've never heard about before, but the step backs were there and they're gorgeous. So this is Keegan's Lady. Let me know what these are about if you know, because um, I'm curious if they're as good as any song, because people love any song. And this is Simply Love. Look at that. <gasps> stunning, so stunning. I can't believe I got <laughs> each of those for a dollar. When I walked out the store, I told my mom like, mom, these are being sold on eBay for a lot more money than a dollar each. <laughs> so I'm very excited I found that. And so then the ones that she gave me for free are these, so. This is The Hellion by Laverle Spencer. Um, this has a very 80s cover, very 80s cover. I've never heard about this author. Um, 
but she gave it to me so i was like of course yeah and then she also gave me fern by lee greenwood i think this is a part of the seven brides for seven husbands series or something like that um but look at that cover like hello and then she also asked me if i've ever read a Dorothy Garlock before and I was like no I've never heard of her so she gave me three of her books so first is Ribbon in the Sky I've never read this author heard about her so let me know if you have um and then she also gave me Wayward Wind look at that cover and lastly we have Wild Sweet Wilderness We'll see what I think about these. I think Dorothy Garlock only writes historical set in America, which y'all know is not my favorite thing. So we'll see, we'll see. And so the last batch of books are books that I purchased during my come shopping with me vlog that I posted in um, August. So be sure to check that out if you wanna know summaries and stuff, but I'm just going to be showing the book for you. So two that I purchased like on their own without the mystery bag, because I got a mystery bag of historicals too that I didn't get from that, is this one. First, A Fine Passion by Stephanie Lawrence. I had to get this one because of the gorgeous step back here. And then another one I purchased for the step back is Adventures of a Scottish Heiress by Kathy Maxwell. Another Kathy Maxwell. And this one is another two page step back. I love her step back. The remaining books are all from the mystery bag that I purchased during my Come Shopping With Me video. First is Wicked Nights with the Lover by Sophie Jordan. I love the back of this book. The Rogue Prince by Margaret Maguire. And they're on the back as well. Another Stephanie Lawrence is The Reckless Bride. I love all the lily pads here. I got another Kathy Maxwell. This is a date at the altar. Next is A Lady Never Lies by Juliana Gray. The Importance of Being Wicked by Victoria Alexander. How to Tame a Lady by Ker Casey, Casey Michaels. An Affair with a Spare by Shanna Galen. I got another book to add to my Mary Ballow, Ballog collection. I never know how to say her name. This is Someone to Romance by Mary Ballog. My first Elizabeth Boyle in my collection is um, Along Came a Duke with another stunning dress with a two-page step back i wish they didn't have the words though because that kind of ruins the two-page step back but whatever the handbook of handling his lordship just looked so stunning to me i'm so glad it was in this bag with a step back how to cross a marquess by jane ashford the confessions of a duchess by nicola cornet a lady never tells by candace camp look at this stunning blue i love the blue lord of fire by galen foley and lastly i have secret desires of a gentleman by laura lee Gurk this step back here that was a lot of books <laughs> but i'm really excited to add them to my bookshelves because they've all mainly been just like sitting in random places around my room so i'm excited to finally put them where they belong thank you so much if you ended up sending me a book i am eternally grateful you never have to do something like that and it's always appreciated and loved when you do so thank you and i can't wait to read so many of these so thank you so much please let me know down below if you've read any of the books that i hauled today and what you thought about them or if you want to read any of them and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me the open book emoji uh, but yeah thank you all so so much for watching i will see you all soon in my next one bye y'all